we are trying to find things referred to as aptamers. And aptamers are uh, short segments of uh, nucleic acids, and typically uh, we're working with RNA. And so what we'll do in practice is in solution, we'll start with uh, a, a library of double-stranded DNA. And we take this DNA and we will perform transcription to obtain a pool of uh, RNA. And with this pool of RNA, we will expose, sorry, we expose the RNA to a target. And uh, after we've done that, uh, what happens next is the RNA will take on secondary structures, uh, which are sometimes very hard to understand, but the RNA will take on secondary structures. We don't really care what those structures are. We just care about if it has an affinity for our target. And uh, once we've done that, we wash away the RNA that doesn't stick to our target. And we elute the good RNA And after we've eluded the good RNA, we will perform reverse transcription via reverse transcriptase to take the RNA back into uh, cDNA, complementary DNA. Uh, and with that cDNA, we perform PCR on that DNA in order to um, obtain more of the good uh, nucleic acid sequences, the aptamers uh, that have high affinity for our target. And then step seven is you just repeat the process. And it's a very common theme you'll see in uh, biotech companies is you, we're essentially uh, simulating uh, natural selection and we're expediting, expediting that process. And we're just repeating this a bunch of times until we find very good uh, aptamers that have a high affinity for a target and if they can bind to that target they can potentially stop a disease and so um, understanding cellex is a very important uh, topic to understand if you're interested in biotechnology and i hope you guys find this useful let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching